What's going on, Kyle? Back for two days. We're back. Night shoot. Night shoot. Night shoot. Yep. U.S. Open, baby. Oh, yeah. Pump. I can't wait. Yeah. This is going to be a great weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be, unfortunately, uh, not near a TV for most of it. Oh, really? I'll be, uh, yeah, I got it. Um, one of my wife's cousins is getting married selfishly on Father's Day. Oh, damn it. And, and the final day of the U.S. Open. Shit. Shit. So that's awesome. But, um, I'm going to be so checked out. I'll be at work for most of it, but I'll be watching. Yeah. I'll be watching. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, U.S. Open, they're playing at Torrey Pond South. Uh, oh, yeah. San Diego, home of the Farmers Insurance every year. Uh, so yep. it'll look <clears> familiar, <throat> but different. It's not going to play at all like it does for the farmers. Uh, they're narrowing all the fairways. They're get, yeah, taking that they're, Kikuya rough. They're, and yep, letting it grow. Dude, did you see that Xander Shopley video? I think it was Xander. He's out. Uh, yeah, he's out there practicing, and uh, he drops his ball and it just disappears. <laughs> it just disappears. From the yeah. Um, oh my god. So it's gonna be a problem. Um, shout out to Tour Junkies. I already said this on a course breakdown, but uh, they had a good interview with Webb Simpson's caddy, and uh, he heard. He's not positive. He wasn't positive. But he heard that they're going to avoid what uh, Bryson did last year with just bomb and gouging these courses. They're going mm-hmm. to incentivize you to lay up by the uh, closer to the pin you get, the longer the rough's going to be. So they're really going to make the uh. rough longer in the Bryson drivable range, <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> which I kind of sweet. like because yeah, nobody likes Bryson one, two. It, you do want to see real golf. You don't want to just see these guys. Right. You don't want to see 410 yards the, just bomb. The problem is they don't even care then, if they miss the fairway, which sucks. Right. But you should care. So right. I like that they're doing this. Yeah. it's Golf is uh, not fun to watch if you can just go driver to 56 degree right. wedge every single hole. Right. You do not care about conditions. Um, the greens are also Poana. Um, this is a change up. Oh, yeah. They're going to be very firm and fast. Uh, bunkers line just about every single green. Uh, so you're going to yeah. need to be good in approach and even more, you're still going to miss. So you got to be good out of the sand. Yeah. Um, and I also heard that the type of grass that the greens are, mm-hmm. it like buds and grows quickly. So it grows throughout the day. Oh, wow. Which is yeah, and it like the the grass blades like expand during yeah. the day in, in direct sun, so that's going to be sketchy. It is. So putting is going to be huge this week. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Uh, we'll start at 10K range, DraftKings, like we always do. Yep. Um, <clears throat> that range starts with John Rahm, goes all the way down to Brooks Kepka. Who do you like in this range, Scott? I like uh, Jordan Spieth, probably the most in this range. Uh, although he is not the most accurate driver in this group, mm-hmm. uh, I would think, uh, I mean, Rom is pretty long and obviously DeChambeau is definitely the longest guy in here. Uh, but Speed has been definitely the hottest oh, yeah. in the last six months or so. Yep. I like, um, my picks are going to be John Rom. Uh, I just feel yeah. horrible for wh- what happened last week with the COVID. Uh, he was going to win that tournament. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely love John Rahm. And hopefully the casuals, the casuals will see a 116th place finish uh, for the Memorial mm-hmm. where he was going to win that. He was forced to withdraw. Right. Um, right. Or they'll see, yeah, they'll see the withdrawal. I also, second favorite in the range is Brooks. Uh, mm-hmm. He's a guy that likes to play difficult courses. This is going to play very difficult. The last time they played a U.S. Open here was 2008, and only two players finished um above uh, below par and that was tiger woods and rocco mediate um so i like those two dustin and DeShambo are also great picks uh, everybody in this range is good That's why they're above 10k yeah you can't go wrong with it right, um, can't go wrong with but i'm pick. i'm sticking with john robin's cup cap guy i think for most of my lives mm-hmm. uh want to take us to the nines yeah, so we're starting off with Rory at 9,900, and we're going, this is a short range, 
down to Patrick Reed at 9K. Uh, I think probably gun to my head, favorite pick in the 9K is Morkawa. I love it. Love the pick. Hey, this is an iron player. I mean, yep. I, I love it. <laughs> I actually love this yep, whole range. Hits fairways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Cantley's even playing pretty well as of late, too. I mean, <clears throat> finally got a tournament win. Yep. If I, if it, and in DraftKings, I think you could avoid the tens and just pick starting in the nines. These, yeah. these are all great. I mean, Xander Shopley plays US Open good every single year. Justin mm-hmm. Thomas at 9,700, that's a steal. I know he hasn't right. been playing the best golf, but it's Justin Thomas. Right. Rory McIlroy, one of the longest players on tour and most accurate off the driver. Yeah. You know? It's huge driving accuracy. Yeah. I think this week, driving accuracy and putting, strokes gain putting are going to be the two, the two keys to victory here. Uh, also sure. scrambling. Scrambling. Yeah. Um, that's why another reason, so I do like Patrick Reed as well. I know he's not the most mm-hmm. accurate, but he's like Brooks where he just likes a tough course. He likes that grind. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're going game theory and strategy, pairing someone like a Brooks and a Reed, hoping that it mm-hmm. just plays as difficult as possible is a great, right. uh, great strategy. Which it sounds like it's going to be hard as hell this week. It does. They didn't. They don't. They don't like what uh, what Bryson did last year. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're out for blood. Yeah, they're out for blood, and they're gonna make everyone pay. Yeah. Uh, so eight K starts at Tony Finau, ends with Cameron Smith. Um, this this range, everybody's gonna be on Finau. Everybody's gonna be on Zalatoris, and for good reason. They're both excellent. Um, yeah, Zalatoris is probably my favorite pick. In this range, I love him. Um, yeah, but also <clears throat> Justin Rose and Louis Uski, two players who don't hit it as quite as far, but they don't hit it short, and they're great with their irons. Accurate, yep. accurate, accurate with irons. Accurate off the tee, accurate with irons. And you yep. brought up putting. Justin Rose, I mean, when his putter's on, he's oh, probably yeah. the best out there. Oh yeah. Um, I think they're low. They're low eight, so they're great picks. Absolutely. I don't hear anyone really talking about your boy Corey Connors this week, or Scotty Scheffler. I was just, I was just looking at Corey Connors right now. I was like nobody talking about it. He's yeah, he's beef. He's, he is. I'm throwing him in there. Are you? Yeah, and yeah. Scotty Scheffler too. I mean, he's great off the tee. Uh, been playing really well. I, I just don't hear the buzz for him like I have been recently. Um, yeah. Hideki, nobody's talking about. That is true. Um, and fuck Webb Simpson. You know why? <laughs> oh, no, we know why. Yeah. He he who shall not be named. Yeah. And Cam Smith. Sorry, no love for Cam Smith either. No. Although now that we say that, he's probably gonna win. Oh yeah, easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, it never fails. Well, I'll take us to the sevens. All right. Yeah. Moving on to the sevens, we start with Paul Casey at seventy nine hundred, and this is a pretty vast range. As always. Scrolling down. As always. As always. All the way down to uh, Russ Henley at 7K. Who Who is jumping out at you here, Kyle? A couple guys. I like the top of the range. I like Paul Casey and Dave Answer. Uh, Paul Casey especially is a great fit for this course. Um, mm-hmm. He's been playing great golf as well. Um, I hate to say it. Phil Mickelson <laughs> loves to hit bombs. He's not accurate. I, I was literally just looking at him. I was like, oh, please, please say Phil. He gets up for majors. Uh, he does. I like him. Shane Lowry, another one that people just don't like to play, and he always fits yeah. as well. Buy, buy low on Shane My Lowry. My favorite pick of the range, uh, Jason Kokrak. By far favorite pick of the range. Hopefully, like it. stay off. Like it. And then the lower sevens, I like Max Homa. I always like Siwoo Kim. Yes. Uh, fuck Derek Higo. <laughs> um, yes. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like a> jerk. <laughs> then, Make us look like idiots. Ryan Palmer's great value at 71, uh, along with Carlos Ortiz. Um, yeah. Who do you like in the range, Scotty? 
Uh, let's see here. Not big on Molinari. No. Definitely fade Gary Kigo. Yeah. Uh, love Siwu, as always. Uh, let's see. Bubba, I think, is uh, a good bet in majors. I know, I know, uh. Yeah, he is. But, but he, I mean, if, when he gets hot, man, he gets hot. He does. And he hits bombs. Yep. Not the most accurate guy with the banana shot, but <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. And, uh, I really like, uh, Joaquin Neiman. I'm scared for Joaquin this week. I'm scared of his around the green game being so bad. Yeah. It's the one thing that scares me often. Yeah, but it's going to be and, but real he hard does, for he, everyone. He's going to pick it up for majors, too. Yeah. Um, 6K, 6,900 is Kevin Kisner, all the way down to God knows who at 6,000. Um, this range is huge. Uh, there's not that many plays. I'd say Zach Johnson's a decent play just because how accurate he is, and he always seems to at least make the cut in majors. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Roy Coots <laughs> is the is the bottom guy at 68. Nice. Jonathan Vegas, your boy, 6,800, back to playable range. Back, yeah. Everybody's going to be on him. I think I think Johnny Vegas is going to be a definite fade this week. Yeah, everybody's on him, so fade him. Uh, and then there's two plays I like in the 6,700. It's Wyndham Clark and Rafa. Uh, Wyndham is just so long, and then Rafa is a good golfer. Uh, hopefully, everyone's scared off him from last week, and we get him yeah, Mr. Cut. low owned. Yeah, uh, Thomas Detry, he is going to be my golfer profile this week, so we'll talk about him more on a different pod. And uh, lowest I'll, I'm willing to go, 6,500 Brandon Steele. Hmm, I like that. Yep, I like that quite a bit. Uh, did you make a lineup? I did. I made a couple. Okay. I'll I'll go with two, I'll show two of them on the show, and then I'll uh, okay. I'll post the, the best ones because I'm still tinkering, obviously. Right. Um. All right. My first lineup is going to be start with Justin Thomas, Colin Morikawa, Tony Finau, Justin Rose, Ian Poulter. And Zach Johnson. That's very good. Yeah, I was happy with that. Um, yeah. The next lineup, also Justin Thomas. I'm uh, big on him this week. Rory McIlroy, yep. Colin Morikawa again. Jason Kokrak, Wyndham Clark, Thomas Detry. I like that quite a bit. What did you What did you come up with, Scott? All right. So. I have uh, 800 remaining salaries, so Ooh. I could tinker with this a little yeah. bit. But it starts out, Justin Rose, I'm big in the 8Ks this okay. week. Justin Rose, Corey Connors, Willie Z. I like it. Uh, Rafa, Rafa cabrera Bayo, mm-hmm. Brooks Kepka, and Jason Kokrak. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, but I could... I got rid of Coke. Well, if I got rid of Rafa, yeah, I would have. I could go after seven seventy five hundred guy. In uh, you think Harmon, Leishman, Watson, or Homa, or I or like, like Homa. Yeah, I like Homa. I, I think he finishes better than uh, Rafa. Scott, I yes. got a proposition for you. Okay. It's risky. Okay. Betting this week. I th- this is my proposition. You can deny okay. it. You can say no. You can turn me down. You know I'm not going to deny it. Willie Z, top 40, minus 162. Jason okay. Kokrak, top 40, minus 125. And Corey Connors, minus 110, top 40. Four units on each. Only bets. Only bets. I think they all top forty. Yeah, pull, yeah, pull trigger. <laughs> but Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. Drop the hammer. Absolutely. 
That's the best. This Absolutely. Week, boys. That's the best. Yep. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do a uh, we'll do a separate uh, Thrive Fantasy breakdown. Yep. For all you Thrive fanatics out there. I'm telling you, it's the new thing. Yeah. We're, we were on Emacs before everyone else. Now we're on Thrive, baby. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't we be on Thrive before everyone else? We're fucking trailblazers. And sign up before uh, you watch our next episode, so get ready now. Um, do you have a promo code for him, Scott? Uh, we do. It's, uh, it's uh, thrivefantasy.com, and the promo code is NEVERHEDGE. There you go. Sign up with the promo and code you get, a, you get a twenty-five dollar bonus uh, when you sign up. I think all you have to do is deposit ten bucks, and you get twenty-five extra. There you go. To play with. That's a pretty good deal. Sign up, and we'll have that breakdown for you guys. Yeah. All right. We'll leave it at that, bud. All right. Good one. Like and subscribe.